Hello, good to see you. Uh, we're going to have one of our more um, physical practices. So come to some sort of a standing position. As always, you always have the option to use a wall or use a chair. You can always use blocks or books. Please um, set yourself up in a way that makes you feel really secure. Really secure. And I'm actually, so I almost always have my blanket down on my mat. But um, for this one, I just want to make sure that I have enough stickiness because we're going to kind of, at least the way I'm going to do it for myself, I'm going to need some traction for my feet. You can also do all of this in a chair. Okay, please, please take all of that to heart. This is your practice. I'm giving you some ideas. I'm giving you some inspiration, some things to think about, but this is your practice. So, so I'm just going to say standing, but you could be lying down, sitting down, using a wall, using a desk. Come to a standing position. If it feels okay for you, put your hands on your low abdomen. And if you'd rather not, you can just have your hands in a way that does feel good. Take a couple of breaths here. Just notice your own breath. And then as you're ready, draw one or both hands up the right side of your torso to about the bottom of your rib cage. And then across towards the left side, down, and then across and keep going in that motion. I talked about it pretty much in a square like that, just to give you the lay of the land. You could start to make this more circular. You could also make it a little smaller, a little bigger. Find a way of getting this awareness of the central part of your body. And then come into a way of standing that um, your feet are a little further. So they could be about three feet away from each other and your toes are pretty much coming straight out of your ankles. So they're not going to be at an angle, your feet. Again, if any of this hurts, please find a way that doesn't hurt. So for example, you could have your legs closer together. They don't have to be this far out. If it's feeling at all strange on your knees, you could put your feet at an angle. It's just going to make the next part a little bit harder to get into but that's okay. <laughs> you don't want to ever do anything that hurts. So your toes, if it's all right, are pretty much straight ahead. Pick up your left toes and then rotate on your heel to where your toes are still pointing straight out from your ankle but now your whole torso has rotated a little bit and then bend that knee. So that's the move. You'll be standing and then you'll take your feet wide. Your toes are pretty much square on unless that hurts your knees or something else. Pick up your left toes, rotate on your heel, put your toes back down and bend your knee. 
This back foot, it might want to stay still very squared on. It might want to come in a little bit, making more of like a 45 degree angle. That's one of the things to play around with. And then also the span of your heels between each other. In general, it's nicer for our hips when our heels are, they're not lined up. They're, they're more like walking or even closer to the edges of our mat. But again, find what feels really good for you. These are your warrior legs. If you were holding onto a wall or a chair or a desk, you could start to have that support for you. I'm aware that I'm holding this here. We're building strength, determination. Remember how you started your practice by going in that, um, it's the circular motion of our digestion. So that's kind of what we were doing when we first got started. You could bring your mind's eye back to this place and just barely start to hinge at your front hip. Your front hip hinges, your back hip will have just kind of stayed elongated. And then come back up. Your front knee is bent for now. And you're going in and out. Keep breathing. Notice what you notice here. We're kind of firing up our internal heat, our, our combustion engine that's on the inside. In addition to doing lots of different things here, building up tremendous strength, balance, strengthening our toes, And then when you get down to a way that feels pretty good, let your hips still be at that angle. Take your left hand and either draw your left hand along that left leg or put your elbow on your left thigh. You could also have a block down here if you want kind of in between, in between elbow on thigh or your hand coming all the way down. So let that hand come down and experiment with straightening your front knee and then bending and straightening. We're, we're exploring, without using the arms, we're exploring warrior, to extended side angle, to triangle. Okay, look at your front toes, bend your front knee, come up. Step together back to where you started and breathe. Let's do second side. We're gonna revisit this and build on, but we're, we're coming from this very central part of ourselves and really building up all of this powerhouse part of our body. So your legs come a little bit apart. Use what you learned from the first side. Pick up your right toes. Pivot on your right heel. Your right toes also come out more or less to the front. Your back toes, again, it might want to stay 
out that might feel weird on your knee you might bring it into a little bit of a 45 degree angle check how wide you want your heels bring your mind's eye back to this front part of your abdomen bend your right knee and down and up we're just easing in here getting very grounded very established let your shoulders just stay down away from your ears. You could even experiment with parking your tongue on the roof of your mouth to relax your jaw muscles. Up and down, hinging at the hips. The two sides might be different. For example, on this side, you might decide that you want a block down there to put your hand on or a chair or a wall or a desk. Up and down. And then when you feel kind of sorted and good, you can slide your right hand down your leg or put your right elbow on your thigh. Don't have it directly on your knee. Just in general, we don't want to do that. So let your hand come to wherever you're going to put it. And then experiment with straightening and bending your knee. So we went from warrior legs to extended side angle to triangle. When we straighten the knee, we're in triangle. We have not rotated our torso yet, but we're building up the series from this middle part down through our legs. Just notice what you notice. Then, when you're feeling ready, look at your front toes, lift your torso up, step together. We'll run through all that a little bit more quickly this time. Adding in, if you want to use it, we'll be adding in some torso rotation and also some arm work. But you can skip that. You can skip that. Let's say you're having a pinch in your low back or one of your shoulders just doesn't feel very good right now. You can, you can keep this part of yourself just really chill. You don't have to bring these next parts in, but we'll just explore. So your feet come away from each other. Pick up your left toes, rotate on your left heel. Get yourself set up in your warrior legs. We'll move from warrior two. So rotate your torso, your arms come out, or you give yourself wings, or you give yourself a hug. I'll show you with the arms out. You can have your palms up or down, either one. Now, when we have our knee bent and we start to rotate, so remember before we folded at our hips, we hinged at our hips. Well, now we've got our torso rotated and we're hinging at our hips again, but we're rotating down. This becomes extended side ankle. When our knee is bent, same thing, knee is straight, reach, 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 this becomes triangle. So you can play with that. Your front knee is bent. Down, extend a side angle, or you could have your elbow on your thigh. Extend a side angle. And then the, generally this other arm goes out, so it's extending this angle of your leg. But you could also put it across your chest or you could leave it straight up. It's, it's fine, however you 
want to do it in whatever your shoulder like. And then when you're ready to come up, look at your front toes. That just helps your neck step together. Second side, feet come apart. Pick up your right toes, rotate on your right heel. Bend your right knee, get yourself set up. Rotate your torso. When you hinge at your hips, you'll be coming into extended side ankle. Your front knee is bent. If you straighten your front knee, then you're in triangle. Bent is extended side angle. Straight is triangle. I'm going to bring this arm down because my shoulder just doesn't need to be in that position. <laughs> doesn't like it at all. And I don't have active pain there anymore and I want to keep it like that. So I'm going to keep my limbs close to my torso. You do what you want, but I am going in and out of my bent and more straight knee. Okay, when you're ready to come up, look at your front toes, lift your torso, step together. Pause and notice. Next is Garudasana, Eagle. Stand on your left foot, soften your left knee. Pick up your right leg and wrap your right leg around your left. It may be easiest for you to find this if you're sitting in a chair or um, leaning up against the wall. All of those things are fine. And your leg may not come very far around at all. Maybe you're pointing your toes and they're, they're just like making a circle somewhere on the floor. Basically, we're just trying to squeeze our lymph nodes that are in the center of our body. And we can add our arms on. So my right leg is on top. So I'm gonna put my left arm up. Same thing, we're just gonna kind of wrap our right arm around. They may not go all the way, that can increase with time. We're squeezing the lymph nodes that are underneath our arms. And doing a whole bunch of other stuff. Breathe. Release your arms, release your legs. Pause and notice. Stand on your right foot, pick up your left. Draw that one around. This one I haven't done this in a little while and this side is not wanting to go. See, every, it's so funny. Everything's different. Every day is different. So get your left foot around. I'm gonna still keep working on mine. Oop. It's good to practice. And then your right arm comes up opposite to the one that's on top here. Left, swings around. For more stability, sit down a little further and breathe. I'm really feeling my heart rate. And release, release. Back to standing mountain. One hand on your heart, one hand on your abdomen and breathe.
Breathe in and out through your nose as slowly as you can. Arms come down, other hand on your heart, other hand on your abdomen, and breathe. Release your arms, shake out your legs and your arms. And then just start to twist your arms around in ragdoll is what we call this one. So your legs are kind of shifting weight. Your arms are swinging freely from your shoulders. And your hands tap. Gentle slaps, pats, or pets anywhere on your body. It's a combination of spandana and cross-body movement. And they make your movement smaller and smaller. It'll look like you're standing still. Shake out your fingers. Shake out one foot. Shake out the other foot. Back to mountain. One hand on your heart, the other hand on top. And breathe. If it's okay in your system, bring your hands back down to where you started. Retrace that direction of movement again, if you liked it. Bringing nourishing, cleansing, compassion, and love to our body. Let your hands come down. Thank you so much for sharing your practice. And I will see you next time.